So sick and disgusting for making that edit. This is the film Fireworks by a Italian director about two boys who literally meet, like crash and find each other through a moped accident. I guess I'm making this video because I don't have anyone to do, really discuss this with, so I thought I would bring it to the internet and let's all have this discussion panel together. Fireworks does a really good job on telling this story while still being really impactful for the progress in the movement of queer liberalism and gay relationships. I'm going to be talking about different aspects that I relate to in my life and how it impacted me as a film. It's a film that still is lingering in my mind. I just saw it yesterday. So I'm making this video today to kind of talk about why it's so impactful. I am a queer film connoisseur. I've seen m pretty much most of every gay film that you could imagine that has received critical acclaim um, and I know what a good gay film is and what a good bad gay film is. That being said I was not impressed by a lot of the films that came out this year. A lot of the newer modern films include the identity of being gay without actually adding any different elements to it whereas the focus of the movie is actually around grieving or loss or something else truly which is not something that gay people aren't necessarily vulnerable to but makes the mar marketing around the film really weird. I think I'm more so um, targeting Closer and All of Us Are Strangers in specifics to how they marketed the film and how it was actually perceived when I went to go sit down in a theater. I didn't find them to be interesting in terms of storytelling and I think it kind of hones in on the negative tropes that a lot of gay people are already facing. Uh, in general, after I saw All of Us Are Closer, I felt really bad for all of the people that were necessarily confused about being bi or queer or questioning. Going to see that film and kind of walking out of the theater and going, oh, there's a lot of things that um, aren't really great about the identity that I possess, you know what I mean? Whether I choose to identify with it or not, I don't think that I necessarily walked out of the theater feeling good about who I am as a person. Not that every film should really hone in and really nail that down, but still I just felt really weird that the movie was presented in such a way that when I sat down in the actual seat, I was confused because I paid money to have an experience that I was not curious about living through or reliving or and especially when there is no redeeming aspect at the end did not feel fun or fresh to me to go out and spend my weekend doing or viewing that film those films paints the assumption that a lot of queer people aren't smart enough to do proper healing and that they have to resort to drugs or doing all of these other uh, spontaneous things in order to reach a sense of fulfillment or healing or that they're not smart enough to stand up to bullying in the face of danger. Like you don't know how many people that I've met that are actually smart enough to do all of those things and, and are able to do it sober that it actually kind of makes me really sad that this is what is being presented towards like the world and it makes me think that Hollywood thinks that we're not brave when we actually are some of the bravest people out there. I'm not saying violence is the answer but there are definitely queer people who know how to fight like I'm just tired of people sitting on the ground and like just letting people hit them like what is up with that? I thought I would break down a gay film uh, storyline for you for all my film majors out there. So there's two guys that both meet. For some reason there's always a girlfriend um, and there's either a girlfriend or some trauma from birth or also a drug problem. They end up definitely kissing and perhaps the girlfriend is still in the picture and they might be together but halfway through the film uh, one of them is actually just straight up missing. 
Um, I don't know if Kirsten kicked him out of the movie. Perhaps the main character is a victim towards the end of trauma, or perhaps the relationship is inappropriate, or the main character or whoever just ends up settling for a horrible life at the end. Bonus points if one of them has a mental illness that impacts the relationship towards the end, and yada yada yada. These films are being made in very progressive countries. It's so confusing at this point that I don't even blame a lot of people for not really knowing that they're attracted to men until later in life, because a lot of these negative traits tropes or these things that you would find in queer cinema it's not that they don't exist but they are very hard to navigate through if you are already facing the impossible i think it's gotten so far to the point where i don't know if i need to see another film where they're doing molly or they're doing coke or i don't know what they want to do or they have a drinking problem like i think that we're good like i think we're good on that i think we've gotten an excess amount of media that has that Let's ride a bike. Let's go for a walk. Let's do something chill. Like, let's go for a swim. Like, chill out on the drugs. I think that the film did a really good job at um, really identifying with the audience that the real perpetrator behind all of these very traumatic things that we find throughout media is that the real perpetrator is society and the things that we continue to promote and hold up through society and in terms of like reinforcing violence for the sake of tradition. But I think that the film did a really good job at doing that through the lens of Italy, especially because it's a city that's very well known. It's a country that's very well known for its conservatism and the preservation of its culture. It was more so refreshing that the film didn't blame the individual and it said what it needed to say without giving it just straight up, you know? It didn't paint the picture that these people are bad, these people are good, but rather gave the audience a clear perspective on where everybody was coming from and did it not solidify the relationship or the individuals within the relationship as being negative. And I really thought that that was refreshing. I think it's really clever that they involved both of the mothers and the uncle and the father and different people within the story, including even the younger brother, as different kind of symbols that they were not necessarily like the most horrible people in the world, even the uncle, like you see instances where they do step in to save another person's life or they make really good decisions. It kind of reminded me that a lot of the people that are getting through life or are protecting you are simply also benefiting from the standards that they're upholding and the way that the mother interacts with the boyfriend who owns the shop, the way that the mother and father want to keep up their family values, their reputation within the community, the social norms of like Catholicism within that area. They're all really important factors in how it impacts like people as a whole. And I love how they integrated that into the story. I like how they included like the promiscuity of the older brother and also the workers that um, the main character passes on the street at night when he's walking home as uh, symbols of ways that in these countries like you get a pass sometimes just for following the norm but you can still benefit um, from these norms as well and for some reason that like that's okay and that's not in line with the catholic church and that's not like alarming but the second that you fall away from that or you do something in opposition to that you really are doing like witchcraft it kind of reminds me that throughout the whole film that everybody is just simply surviving or trying to get by in the decisions that they're making. Several times throughout the whole film, a lot of the people are sacrificing like independence, autonomy, um, like freedom, or their even their health. Like those different sacrifices that each of the characters is making. Most specifically, like you can tell that the pregnant aunt is having a really bad time even she is quite hopeless in the movie and i like how there are so many scenes of her just like plucking her eyebrows or looking at different magazines just to like feel beautiful um i thought that was a really nice touch all of the characters are really fleshed out it still remains hopeless while still being a very loving and beautiful hope like story like, I don't know how else to explain it, but it's such a hopeless situation. But there are, like, 
fireworks you could say that shine really beautifully throughout the film and i think it's like very clever how they use that as a motif to tell a story and the funny thing about this movie is that the main characters didn't even hate themselves they did not like weren't self-deprecating at all they, the whole situation just sucked in general but they never were like we suck you know just a film about truly finding light in the darkness and trying to find beauty in the absolute pits of hell which is sometimes what it can feel like to be a queer identifying person but you get this like light at the end of the tunnel through your relationships with people and connection and being able to do that in a very authentic way is probably 10 out of 10 one of the most beautiful things you could do while you're here on earth and i think that's why i have such a big issue because a lot of the more progressive films it comes across as propaganda and oh and it goes against a lot of the things that we are fighting for when you say something is bad but you per still present it in a negative light like what are you doing like as an adult now i find messaging to be incredibly important and as an artist like you are responsible for the message that you put out like you should be thoughtful and think about what you're putting out into the world and if it's going to be perceived in or interpreted in a specific way maybe we should take a seat and take a second to think like are we doing this for clicks are we doing this for the grammy or the emmy or whatever you're doing it for and really get back to what is the messaging of this movie and i think that fireworks still holds a really strong message all the way from the beginning to the end. It brings me back to the message of what we're fighting for in a way that there should be a safe environment to be who you are. It takes a second to remember the people who came before us who didn't have the same opportunities that we do have now and what progress in looks like and what we're working towards is for the freedom to be able to do that like that's what this is all for my only critiques for the film is that i wish that there was a scene where they actually did shoot out pink fireworks like i think that that was a missed opportunity when like they won the world cup or i don't know where they would have fit that in and that it was based on a true story so i'm not going to be super critical but yeah, fireworks, um, you can stream it on Apple TV. If you've seen this movie, if you want to discuss this movie, make sure to leave a comment and let's chat. I've shared this. I'm pushing this film out as one of my favorites for this year. Grazie. Peace.